This episode of Ange Collects is brought to you by Tim Hortons, located at 3760 Bull de Source and 305 Brunswick Street in Point Claire, Quebec. Tim Hortons, always fresh, toujours frais. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Ange Collects YouTube channel. I'm Ange and I collect stuff. Guys, if you are new here, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys, because we have a whole lot of fun here. And on top of that, guys, we're doing a giveaway at 750 subscribers. We're currently at 617 subscribers, guys. So we're getting there quickly. All right, guys, today I actually went to Walmart and picked up three different products from the clearance shelf, guys. That's right, the discounted shelf. I picked up a Evolving Skies single blister, a Yu-Gi-Oh kind of mystery pack, uh, 15 cards, you get one foil card and one rare card, and the new baseball, yes, baseball, guys, the first time we're opening here, uh, Topps Baseball 2022 Series 1 double pack, guys. So we're gonna get this open right now. We're gonna start with the Yu-Gi-Oh. I have no idea what to expect in this little uh, kind of mystery box thing. If you guys have ever opened it, please let me know in the comments so I can know what you guys got and compare it with what I got because I really don't know if this thing could be like some kind of a scam or something. But we're gonna find out right now, guys. Let's see what's in here. All right, right off the bat, guys, there's a rare card. It's a Swords at Dawn. I actually have this card. Okay, so that's the rare. And is the foil right behind it? Let's see, guys. No, nope, it's a common in here. Okay, so we have Catch Eye L2, Child's Play, Shirai Style Solemnity, Time Thief Bezel Ship, Shirai uh, Square Saga, Salmon Great Wolvie, Cybers Converter, Magicians Unite from Speed Duel. Okay, that's pretty cool. Veil of Darkness from Speed Duel. Half Shut from Speed Duel. Block Attack, same thing, Wicked Breaking Flamberge. Battle Ox, this is from some kind of a structure deck or something. Trap Jammer and a Cost Down. Okay, something that doesn't make sense here is that we didn't get a foil, I believe. Or unless I'm, I don't know, I'm blind or something. Uh, I don't think there's a foil in here. Let's check, let's check the packaging. It does say, one, it's all ripped up, but it does say uh, 15 cards, one foil card, one rare card. So uh, I would say it's pretty much a scam, guys. So anyways, I wouldn't recommend you getting these Yu-Gi-Oh uh, random uh, boosters, like they say at, uh, at Walmart. Anyways, on to uh, baseball now. We're gonna keep Pokemon for the end, guys. And hopefully our luck could change and we can get something pretty nice in these thick Topps Baseball Series 1 2022 cards because you could actually get an auto in here. It's very rare, but you could get an auto in here, guys. So we're hoping for something nice. I don't know the players, so uh, like I said, I'm gonna have to do my research, but every year, guys, I get these baseball cards. Uh, so we have a rough, roughened door, okay. Card is upside down. We have Josiah Gray, uh, Jake Arietta. Adam Frazier. Now we're looking for rookie cards, guys, which are either at the top or the bottom. I'll show you when I see one. Liam Hendricks, Future Stars of Jazz Chisholm Jr. So these are kind of like, they're not really like rookie cards, they're like inserts, just to let you guys know. Uh, Sunny Gray for the Cincinnati Reds. We have Tommy La Stella. Uh, Yasmani Grando. And then we have a rookie card of Curtis Perry for the Texas, is it the Rangers? Yeah, I believe it is the Rangers. So that's our rookie card, Curtis Terry. What else do we have here? We have Tatis Jr. Duval and Alonzo triple card. Uh, another triple card of Burns, Scherzer, and Buhler. Okay. A New York Yankees card. American League, just a Yankees card. Okay. We have a DD Gregorius. A J Jaron Duran. It looks like it's a reverse. Uh, re not reverse, retro rookie. Okay, so basically these are old rookie cards, like the art of old rookie cards with new rookies. Okay, that's pretty nice. And then we have a Clayton Kershaw, Stars of MLB. He was a very good uh, baseball player, guys, for the Dodgers. All right, so we'll put the inserts on the side. 
And then we'll open our second pack. Let's see if we get another big rookie or an auto would be nice. Very hard to get though. Okay, so we have uh, an upside down rookie of Chad McCormick for the Houston Astros. That's pretty nice. We'll put that on the side. Uh, I think you get one rookie card per pack. I might be mistaken. So we have a Jose Iglesias, Marcus Schoenman. Uh, oh, another rookie card, Lars Nutbar. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to look these up for the St. Louis Cardinals, guys. If I got any baseball guys out there, let me know if these are worth anything, guys. Aaron Judge base card. Then we have a uh, Hunter Renfro, Spencer Howard. Oh, another rookie of Tyler Gilbert for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Okay, these are nice rookie cards to have. Cedric Mullins, Zach Wheeler, Kurt Suzuki. Is this a rookie, guys? Yeah, it is a rookie of Brian De La Cruz for the Marlins. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, then we have Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Another rookie card of Brandon Marsh. Okay, so there's a lot of rookies here. That's pretty cool. Oh, we have a Future Stars of Cabrian Hayes. That's always a nice card. And then we have a uh, another one of those stars of the MLB, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Uh, a little shiny card. Okay, let's put that on the side. So that was fun. I got some new baseball cards. I, I get it every year, guys, no matter what. So, and I'm also gonna put the rare. Uh, actually, hang on a second. Okay, this is speed though. I thought it was shiny. I'm looking at the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, so we'll put the rare on the side to show you after. Now. Let's hope we get something big in this Evolving Skies uh, single blister pack, guys. It would be a nice finishing to this opening. Uh, does it come with a code card? No, I don't think so. Okay. But there is a code card in the pack, so yeah. All right, guys, I'm hoping to get a big EV Evolution big card. It would be nice. Uh, or anything uh, of value would be great. I'm doing this set too, so you never know. Now let's see. Uh, okay. All right. I think I just saw the code card, which is green, so that's not good. But anyways, all right, let's do a little trick. One, two, three, four, and hope for the best, guys. All right, if I get something I need, that's good too. We have a, uh, looks to be like a dark energy toy catcher. Hippo, Hippo Dawn, Golduck, uh, Siren Gono, Nicket, Dweeble, Rufflet, Roggenrola, Reverse Hollow Dweeble and a Altaria Common Rare, guys. I actually need this card, so it's not that terrible. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to show you guys what we got. We got the Altaria that we just got now, Common Rare. Uh, in the Yu Gi Oh! Mystery Pack, we got the Rare Swords of Dawn and pretty much uh, a hunk of crap. But, anyways, uh, we got the Future Stars of uh, Jace Jazz. We got the future stars of Cabrian Hayes, a rookie card of Marsh, a rookie card of De La Cruz, a rookie card of Gilbert, a rookie card of Lars Nootberg, uh, a rookie card of Chaz McCormick, a retro of Dern, a Clayton Kershaw stars of the LLB, and a Jazz Chisholm future stars, along with a reverse haul of Dweeble. Yeah, always fun. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the market watch as well too uh, for the beginning of April. Ange is out here, guys. Take care. Ciao.